Hi guys. So Battle Interactive released a benchmark to slash short gameplay demo for the upcoming mobile game Tosetti. It's kind of a sequel to their Dead Effect series. So I was supposed to show some gameplay on my channel, but because my device wants to game like a potato, I had to kind of just show the benchmark, talk about how unique it is, and maybe talk about a few things that Tosetti itself is bringing to the mobile space. Okay, so let's get into it. So talking about the benchmark itself, this is actually kind of something you don't see a lot on mobile devices or you don't see a lot in the mobile gaming space. Basically, the benchmark in Tosetti is kind of there, it's kind of like a PC style gaming benchmark where you like test how your device runs the game and you know it gives you info like the frame rates at which the game will run, the average frame rates. You know, like the 1% low and even the 0.1% low. I mean, you don't really see stuff like that on mobile at all. So that's why, like, for the graphics setting itself, it's the normal stuff on Android. You know, like a resolution scale, view distance. It's normal thing. I've seen all those things in other games before. But actually having a benchmark to where you can actually, like, test the in-game performance. It's actually something unique. And I know this is just a technology benchmark. But I'm kind of hoping that they carry it over... So I had the main game when it launches, or they update the current benchmark to, to like kind of reflect the main game, um, actual the actual performance they end up setting for the main game. So like maybe people can download that and test out how the game will run before going on to download the full game. Because when you really think about it, just the, just this benchmark demo alone, is about one point five gig for the regular version, and two gig for the Vulcan version. And just the gameplay demo and maybe a short 10 to sorry, it's just the benchmark and maybe just a short 10 to 15 minutes gameplay clip for you to go through. So I can just imagine what the full game will be like. So basically having this benchmark so it's going to be useful when the full game comes out. So you don't spend like seven, ten gigs to download the full game and find out your device can run it. So I'm really hoping they update it or at least keep this kind of stuff in game. I'm really hoping more devs on Android kind of Follow this kind of device performance metrics metric where you can kind of test out a game, benchmark it, see if your device can run it before downloading it. Okay, so talking about Tosetti itself as a game, like this is a really, or oh, it seems to be a really ambitious project from Badfly for a mobile game. I, I mean, I say a mobile game, but it's coming to actually a whole lot of platforms. It's coming to Windows, Mac, PS4, Xbox One iOS and Android. Now we don't know about Switch, the PS5 and Xbox Series X. But you know this game was this game has been in development since I think 2017. But because of the yeah, publishers had issues and they went under and so they have to they have to find another way to like publish the game. So maybe once the full game comes out, we'll get an update on those platforms. Also another thing to note is that for the iOS and Android minimum requirement at least for the RAM requirement which they put on their site the official site which I will leave in the link below or I'll link somewhere in the video so you, you can check it out the iOS and Android version require at least 4 gigs of RAM which for most Android devices might not be a problem but when you consider that the iPhone 10 mm -hmm. um, 10 Aru the iPhone SE 2020 the iPad mini 5 all come with 3 gigs of RAM might be a little bit worrying for those users. Tell me because those devices are still a whole lot more powerful, or the chipsets inside them are a whole lot more powerful than many mid-range Android devices. Although those mid-range Android devices come with six and eight gigs of RAM, maybe even twelve gigs of RAM. So I don't know. Maybe once the final games come, maybe once the final game comes out, everything will be a little bit optimized or better optimized, and maybe they'll be able to run on those three gig RAM devices. But for now, the minimum requirement is 4 gig on iOS and Android. So talk about what the game actually hopes to achieve. These guys are promising a whole lot from an open world, single player content, co-op content with up to four players with four different classes, full day and night cycle, even promising dynamic AI and the whole lot. I guess we'll find out once the game comes out if they actually were able to meet this high standard they certainly set for themselves. If you want to check out more on everything that they're promising with Tosetti on Unknown Origins, again, as I said, I will leave a link in the description 
below okay i think that's all i want to talk about so i'm going to like take this away from my device probably running the game to the official trailer like if you think the official trailer looks too good remember it's coming to windows and mac so yeah again i guess i guess that's it for me i'm tired the noob gamer signing out and i'll see you in the next one